Are you moving to Pittsburgh and wondering where to live? Stay tuned as I highlight five of the best neighborhoods in Pittsburgh inside the city limits. Hi, thanks for stopping by. My name is Mark McClinchy and I'm a realtor here in Pittsburgh. I get calls and emails every week from people moving to Pittsburgh that need help finding a home and learning more about the great neighborhoods and communities throughout the Pittsburgh region. I would love to help you too, so please reach out using my contact information in the description below. And please subscribe and ring the bell so you never miss another video. I get asked all the time, Mark, what are the best places to live in Pittsburgh? It obviously depends on what you're looking for. Great schools, big yard, city living, affordability. I have videos that cover a range of Pittsburgh neighborhoods, so be sure to check out the links at the end. Today, I'm focused on the city of Pittsburgh neighborhoods. There are 90 neighborhoods inside the city limits of Pittsburgh. Some of the popular and well-publicized areas to live in the city include Squirrel Hill, Shadyside, and Point Breeze. But sorry, you won't find those on my top five list. Let's get started. Number five on my list of best Pittsburgh neighborhoods is the Central North Side. Let's take a closer look. The Central North Side is a smaller neighborhood area just across the Allegheny River from downtown. Just north of Heinz Field and PNC Park in the rebranded area of the North Shore. Major landmarks include Allegheny General Hospital and nearby Allegheny Commons Park. There are just under 3,000 people that live in the Central North Side which includes the highly desirable Mexican War Streets. The average home sale in 2019 was above 300,000. Overall scores are above average for walking, biking, and transit. Many of the homes in this area have undergone extensive renovations with special attention to restoring the exterior to their original 19th and early 20th century charm. You will find tree-lined streets, on-street parking, and popular neighborhood hangouts like the Monterey Pub and Commonplace Coffee Shop. Several outstanding art museums include the Mattress Factory and Randy Land. Moving to number four is Lawrenceville. If you are not familiar with this neighborhood, let's dive in. Lawrenceville is officially divided into three areas, lower, central, and upper, but most people refer to the area as a single neighborhood. Butler Street runs the length of Lawrenceville from 33rd Street to the 62nd Street Bridge. Landmarks include Allegheny Cemetery, UPMC Children's Hospital, Arsenal Park, and Doughboy Square. With just under 10,000 residents, the home prices in Lawrenceville have soared in the past few years. Many of the homes have been renovated and flipped or turned into trendy condos and lofts. The walkability score of Lawrenceville is one of the best compared to the other City of Pittsburgh neighborhoods. Lawrenceville housing is a mix of fixer-uppers and modern row houses. Lawrenceville has been a hotbed of development centered around Butler Street with tons of options for nightlife, eating, drinking, and shopping. Favorite spots include Arsenal Lanes, Row House Cinema, Church Brew Works, Frank Shuary, and Piccolo Forno. Looking for a great neighborhood in the South Hills? Check out number three, Brookline. Brookline, like most Pittsburgh neighborhoods, sprawls across hilly terrain between West Liberty Avenue to the west and Sawmill Run Boulevard to the east. Notable nearby landmarks include the Liberty Tunnel, Moore Park, Seat LaSalle High School, and Brookline Memorial Park. Brookline is one of Pittsburgh's larger neighborhoods with over 12,000 residents and becoming increasingly more diverse. Average price of a home bought in 2019 was about $150,000. Brookline covers a large area and not all sections have easy access to the light rail near 51 or Brookline Boulevard, which is the heart of the community, which might account for the scores to be a little lower. If you are looking for a family-friendly neighborhood with affordable housing, Brookline is a great choice. Easy access to downtown in Oakland through the Liberty Tunnel or drive down 19 toward the suburbs of the South Hills. The best part of the neighborhood is strolling down Brookline Boulevard and maybe grabbing some tacos at Las Palmas, hummus at Pita Land, or ice cream from Scoops, or exploring one of the other 80 plus businesses along the boulevard. With the best views of the city, consider living in my number two best Pittsburgh neighborhood, Mount Washington. Sitting on top of a steep hill with panoramic views of the entire Pittsburgh skyline, Mount Washington is not only popular with tourists, but a great place to call home. Landmarks include Grandview Overlook, the Monongahela Incline, Chatham Village, and nearby Station Square and Highmark Stadium. 
Mount Washington has a little more than 8,000 residents and the average price of a home sold in 2019 was less than $200,000. Homes set back without scenic views of downtown are far more affordable than the million dollar real estate on Grandview Avenue. If you work downtown, it is just a short incline ride down the hill. Mount Washington as a place to live flies under the radar, which means your housing dollar goes way further than trendy areas like Shadyside or Lawrenceville. Plenty of restaurants, stores, parks, and neighborhood hangouts that are off the beaten track. Favorite spots include Bingham Tavern, Red Beards, Grand Brew Coffee, and Di Fiore's Ice Cream Delight. And for the surprise number one pick of best neighborhoods in Pittsburgh is Bloomfield. I lived here for five years, so I'm probably biased. Let's cover some details. Bloomfield is located three miles from downtown and close to all the area hospitals and universities. The main roadways of Bloomfield include Liberty Avenue, Baum Boulevard, and Penn Avenue. Known as Pittsburgh's Little Italy, Bloomfield is an eclectic neighborhood of old school Italian immigrants and a new wave of youth, creativity, and diversity. Bloomfield has a population just under 9,000 people, and in 2019, the average sales price of a home was about $230,000. Walk scores and bike scores are some of the best of any neighborhood in Pittsburgh. Most of the housing stock in Bloomfield are provincial frame row houses. Don't miss the link in the description for a list of homes currently for sale in Bloomfield. If you are willing to do some renovations, you can get some great deals and build a ton of equity in your home. Liberty Avenue has tons of spots not to miss, including Tesaro's, Caliente Pizza, Ritter's Diner, and Apteca. The city of Pittsburgh has many great places to live beyond these five. If you have questions about neighborhoods in Pittsburgh or would like to add your favorite neighborhood, please leave a comment. In the description below, you will find links for some homes currently for sale in each of the neighborhoods I covered. There is also a link for a great Pittsburgh neighborhood guide. Three quick requests. Please hit like if you found this video helpful, hit subscribe so you have access to more great videos, and ring the bell so you are notified when new videos are published. Don't forget to check out my other videos about the best places to live in Pittsburgh. See you next time.